Bud grew up with the start of the Hollywood studio system. His father, B.P. Schulberg, was the top producer at Paramount in the 1930s, making 52 movies a year and earning $11,000 a week. Bud's father was one of the top studio moguls, the head of Paramount. So he grew up in a very privileged, very uh, powerful, one of the Hollywood elite. Like the other children of the Hollywood moguls, it was expected of Bud to one day take over his father's position. Yet Bud had other plans. He always wanted to be a writer. So when he was 26 years old, Bud turned his observations of Hollywood into his best-selling novel, What Makes Sammy Run. It was the most controversial novel ever to hit Hollywood, and Bud would never be allowed to work in his hometown again. Any book that says the unsayable or the obvious truth other people don't want to say, and in, in that case... It's just the rank, knife-in-the-back ambition that uh, fuels Hollywood. Hello, where the hell are you? Sammy was saying. Have you hung up? Nope, I said. But only because I have no conscience. That's what you get for being a rabbi, son, he said. A conscience. Going through life with a conscience is like driving your car with the brakes on. To tell the truth and to actually base it on people he knew in Hollywood, Anyone could see the reality and the truth of what he was doing. So the people in the industry uh, were furious about that. I mean, he was raised in the belly of the beast, and then he took a knife to it. He didn't just burn the bridge, he blew it up behind him. Sam Goldwyn had a jaw that he could jut out like a... He could get so many, he would get purple. And as I walked in, he screamed at me, how could you do that? How could you write that terrible book? What is wrong with you? You're a traitor. He was screaming, and then I realized that it was all about what makes Sammy run. When Sam Goldwyn became so angry at Bud and the book, he uh, believed somehow that, uh, that the name Sammy Glick was code for Sam Goldwyn. And uh, LB picked up where, where Sam Goldwyn left off. Louis B. Mayer was furious, called BP in, and said he shouldn't write it, and... I uh, wanted to deport Bud. BP wrote me and said, Bud, I don't think you have any idea what it's going to do to you. It's going to ruin you out here. It's going to hurt the entire family if you publish this book. Louis V. Mayer denounced uh, BP at a producer's meeting, and uh, BP was systematically frozen out in Hollywood, and his career, you know, declined. On the East Coast, Bud was hailed as the next great American writer. But in his hometown, he was a pariah. Los Angeles has always been such a fear-based city, right? Uh, really. I mean, that's what I think you really... That's never changed. And that, mm. that's what's in the book, you know. It's, I think one of the first books that really showed that. In a sense, this is creative act that made him most famous and most well-known and became a classic uh, major work of American literature. Uh, that work produced only hostility from the people in his own community, the film community and the political community. Well, 